How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's day two of the Westgate show. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see, but there are a lot of open tables today. It's because today there is another show. There's the East Bay show, which is in Concord. It's about, I'd say an hour away from here. A lot of people are probably going to that show just because that's a one day show and it's kind of growing in popularity as a one day show. I don't expect too much traffic today here on Sunday here in San Jose. Today's kind of a cash up day. We kind of came home last night. Didn't really do anything, kind of just ate, but then went to bed. I was really exhausted yesterday. So we have a lot of catch up from yesterday's buys, things sorted since we have the space and the time. I forgot to shout out yesterday, thank you to Kevin. He actually gave us these decks uh, to give away to kids. So we were giving these yesterday. Um, the kids love them. I think this comes with like a mini deck, comes with like an Umbreon or like a Greninja V and it has some cards for the kids to play with and the kids loved it. So shout out to Kevin, thank you so much for giving these to the kids. We're almost out of them. We give cards to all the kids that stop by regardless if they make a purchase or not. Let's see how day two of the West K show goes. Uh, we pay $8 in cash. It'd be like 10 bucks in trade for those each. Sure. That's it, right? 234 in trade value. Cool. The owner isn't worth anything anymore. This stack is not paid for yet. Sugar Daddies. It's Sugar Daddy stack. Big Daddy. Big Daddy Warbucks. They're not crazy. There's like a couple of Pokemon that are like super expensive, like the Entai, the Charmeleon, the Pikachu. Those are all worth like a decent amount of money, but everything else is, I mean, kind of like what Shining Fates are. Like they're like two bucks now. So like if you just wait, they'll just continue to go down. Card prices are always high as soon as release comes. That's why we avoid buying within the first month because it doesn't make sense that I pay really high and then I wait a month and like all my stuff just drops. Exactly. Like just for holding it. People say like, oh, do you have it in stock? No. I just don't buy it right now. It doesn't make sense for me to pay more and then lose money. Took in over a hundred thousand yesterday. It was stacked high and it was all over here. I couldn't walk yesterday. I don't expect it to be that busy today though. I hope it's not that busy. <laughs> I don't want to rest and kind of just like relax. It sounded like you guys were pretty tired yesterday for the show. Uh, 140 on this binder. That's for you to decide. That's the best? That's the best we can do. Uh, 171. I can bump you to 175. That's as much as I can do. Okay. Sugar Daddy, I need 175. Please. Thank you, boss. All right, guys, I'm literally borrowing cash from Dorcasaurus Cards because we literally have zero cash. Kid you not. Go ahead, take a look at Jack's channel, Dorcasaurus Cards. It hooks me up all the time. We always sit up with him. It's a blast. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate you helping us out. Don't worry, we'll pay you back. Credit's good. 150, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whenever you're all ready. He watches Avatar. Yeah. I, she's been watching. I, I know about Avatar, man. Exit myself out of this conversation. What's going on, Jeff? I got some stuff for you, boss. What? How'd you get that? I bought them just for you. What? Kid you not. I mean, you said you wanted them, so. Yeah, I did. <laughs> How's it going, Kevin? Pretty good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. What can I be with, man? I texted you last night for the 500 reverse. Yeah. Do you have the total account for me, boss? And you want to trade? 32? Um, if you want cash, you don't have any cash, I'd have to PayPal you, but we take it in trade if you want 10% more. We buy everything. I can take a look. Cash would be 90. Trade, we can do, I go as high as 110. Make it 145. Okay. I mean, it's, it's trade, like there's, yeah. there's room. It's not cash. You're all set, Kevin. Thank you. Let me get your name on this so I don't forget. And then whenever you're all set, just let me or my wife know. Got you. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Thanks, Kevin, I appreciate it. I paid dearly for them, I can tell you that. Slab for Jeff. I owe you 175, right? For cash? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me text you right now so I don't forget. I'm not charging you full price on this. That's just what they were recently no, comped at. Yeah. I bought these as a stack because I thought about you. Yeah. And then I bought this separately. Okay. And this is the only one that you. This is a lot of money. 115 for this whole stack. Are you leaning on me? Wow. Rude. No problem. Take your time. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you just taking care of the young ones? Yes, we have to. Oh, we're glad that you're back. Nice to see you. Yeah, safe. welcome back. Shop a man on your shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. I love this shirt. Yeah, I found it for you. All right. Awesome. Yep, you're good to go. Thank you very oh, much. I have one more thing for you. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. Thank you. Huh? Enchanté. Oh, I got the claws. He's like, I need to do my needles. <laughs> We sell one piece now. Do we? My first PSA tie in one piece. Oh, well, the first one. <laughs> Esa 
a waifu card. Jack, I got you one piece right here, bro. What do you got? I don't know, some waifu? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Two nineteen. You still got a decent amount left. Forty-six dollars. Thirty-six dollars in trade left. Let me see how that converts yeah, to cash. No Thirty-three in cash. So no problem. And this is for you. Oh, thank you. This is for you. Thank you. Dad. You're welcome. You want that one? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Hi. Welcome back. I have the same sweater you do. You do? Yes, I do. I barely wear this. <laughs> this is for you. You're welcome. You know, it's funny, every time uh, me and Mara watch a guy's video, every time you see a kid, you just like randomly like just give it out. It just makes like, I don't know, I just smile because it's just so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it reminds me of, of myself when I was a kid. I would go up, I'd be very scared to like go up to these tables or like any vendors and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I can look up for the Charmeleon? So you'll type in Charmeleon and then the number. Thanks. There you go. 12, 16, 11 dollars. Hmm? 11 dollars. 11 dollars? Yeah. Thank you. I have a binder for you guys. So you guys can put your Pokemon cards in there. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have another binder so you guys each took a look at. Oh. 19 dollars. No, 18. 18? 18? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I did the math. Like, yeah. I did the math wrong. Sorry. I am so bad at math right now. Thirty. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Here we go. I I thought that was a five, so I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> she was like, are you sure? Yeah, I know. I said it twice. I was like, are you sure? And I was like, wait a minute. I'm missing a digit here. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. Okay. Bye. Next year gonna show up today. Good luck Good on luck your test. You want Charizard? I say one of these. Mm -hmm. They're nine, but they're still pretty good. Right, right. If you want, you can like collect one of these mm -hmm. art cards. They're pretty good. That's where I would start. Right. Yeah. There's various ways to check up pricing for cards. Okay. For us, we use eBay. There are other people who use TCG, but okay. we mainly use eBay because we sell on eBay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I do recommend checking price points first before oh, okay. buying it because there have been instances where I did see a person buy, forgot what card it was, but the markup was so high. When he came to our booth, we marked ours at market price. That person got, I won't say scam, but like yeah, yeah. he paid more, more than more he was than supposed to. Right. Okay, yeah. And he was not very happy. So I recommend eBay and how I do it is, how my husband taught me is, yeah. you're to look for, let's say, I would type in Pikachu mm -hmm. and then I look at the numbering. Yeah, be 35 oh. out of 108. Because oh, okay. they'll be the same Pokemon, but in different sets, but they're right. in different numbering. Oh, okay. So this will give you the indicator. And then this is a thing of reverse hollow. Okay. So y'all type in reverse hollow right here mm -hmm. and you'll see all these oh, right and then we do filter buy it now and then we do lowest price but then you have to make sure that you're going to the right one <laughs> right, right. also this is PSA 8, eight so right. I put it in wrong so I would put PSA 8 and you'll get the price point so we're 20 they're at 21 right, okay. right and then what I do recommend is like when you look at cards mm -hmm. If it's in raw format, I recommend taking a look at condition, oh, okay, right? Okay. This is considered near mint. Mm -hmm. There's no whitening or the edging. Oh, okay, okay. And then the bordering is pretty good. Like we will put damage on here to, oh, to let yeah, other yeah. people know like this is the condition of the right, card. Right, right. Yeah, the wear and tear. Basically. Yeah, lightly played. There's moderately played, heavily played and damaged. Oh, okay. I recommend always taking it out, taking a look at the card. Oh, and you can see that there's a slight damage. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. This is a good one, I guess. You see how right. the extreme whitening oh, yeah, on the back? Yeah. More worse on the corners, mm -hmm. on the side, see right here? Right, yeah. So we take account into that. Some people base price on conditioning mm -hmm. as well. Okay. It's a lot of factors. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. <laughs> check the pricing, but also when you're checking the pricing, check the condition. Okay, okay. So you can get the fair market value of what you're okay. going to look for and what you're paying for. It's whatever you want. Okay. It's your preference. Like, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer right, where right. you want to start. Mm -hmm. It also depends on your budget as well. Like, some people have more money, they can start off wherever they want. Right, okay. This is whatever you like. That's why I asked, like, oh, what's your favorite Pokemon? We typically sell PSA stuff. It takes time. Yeah. yeah. See you next time. Bye. 
I say lean to whatever your heart and, goes towards yeah. and you you won't regret it. Take it. Right, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to take this one. Oh, perfect. Let me ask uh, uh, what's the lowest he can do okay. on this one. What's the lowest you can do? This will be his first slab. 70. I'll hold it. I'll flip it upside okay, down perfect. for you. Thank you. Uh-huh. What's the lowest you can do on this? 64. 55. Th so total is 34. We do 28. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's, oh. Thanks a lot. Thanks yeah, no a lot. problem. Sorry it took so long to get to you. Oh, no, not at all, not at all. Okay. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh, no problem. See, I told you I'll pay you, Jack. <laughs> sugar Daddy. I'll pay Sugar Daddy back. 175. Right, Here you go. Up. This is for you. Yeah, no problem. Let me know if you guys need help with anything. Why are your hands so cold? So I'm cold blooded. Oh, God. He's chilling. He's chilling. This is for you as well. This is for you. Oh, you. You're welcome. Uh, let's do 22. Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. Hi. Were you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. So, eight, $5. 15. Awesome, thank you so much. No problem. You guys have a nice day. Are you here to like trade in your stuff? Oh, you can put your box down here so you don't have to carry it. You're gonna be after them. Like if it was like a Charizard miscut, they'd probably be worth a lot more. But for like this random one, some will want it. You just have to find them. Uh, and how much would they willing to pay? So this is cash prices. If you want to trade, we would bump you up. 99, we'll bump it to a clean 100. Do you have a, a Benji? 135. 100, 20, 30, 35. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for your patience. We'll buy anything and everything. So if I like randomly pull out a card, you'll buy it? I can tell you what we would pay for, yes. Okay, all right. Two bucks in cash okay. or three in trade. So that's yours. So you're doing a trade-up challenge. You're at a Tapu Coco EX. Yeah. Uh, we can give you up to a $25 card. If you find something for $25, let us know. All right, boss, what can I help you with, man? 4,000 commons and uncommons. Uh, if it's just commons and uncommons, it's 40 bucks trade. You're all set. And whenever you're all ready, just let my wife know. Bye. Uh-huh. Thank you. Have a great weekend. The Pokemon go for you. Yeah, the Radiance. Yeah, yeah. We're at 135 total. So here's the thing, from a business point of view, PSA 9, same price. So like, you're gambling on a 10. I wouldn't tend to do a PSA, because unless I'm for sure certain and I don't know because of tag teams, I would just sell it raw, just safer. Because you always want to bet that it's going to get a PSA 9. Are you worth gambling for 100, 150 bucks? Do I want to gamble 15 bucks on it? In order to upside, I wouldn't recommend it. As someone who submits the PSA, it's the same value as a PSA 9. If it comes back a PSA 9, you wasted two months plus $15. I say let's risk it, no? I wouldn't recommend it. Do whatever you want with your money, man. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you more just because it's you. You're at $95. You need 40 bucks or 35 cash. Either or. There you go. New set of PSA 10s. I mean, if you just hold on to it. Right now, I'm telling you, a lot of people are exiting Pokemon. I would say that the economy is really not helping the situation. That's why we're able to buy everything because people want money. All the sealed product that we get, you just hold on for five, six years. It's all gonna go up. You just have, can you wait that long? Some people are impatient. You can never go on PSA 10. All right, man, what can we help you with? 45 in trade for this. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. F $5, yeah, $5 of value, yeah. And which box did you want, man? Shining Fates? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. All right, well, we're gonna wrap it up here. It's about five o'clock. I would say people are already left. All the vendors are gone. Much slower today than it was yesterday, but honestly, we did pretty well. A lot of people came by to sell us cards. Some people bought a bunch of cards, did a bunch of trading with everyone. It was just nice to be out here in the community again. Like I said, we had two weeks break. We are in full throttle now. We have a month full of shows back-to-back -back weekends. Next week, we're gonna be in LA, and then in two weeks, we're gonna be at the Del Mar Union Show, and then in a month, we'll be at the South San Francisco conference center for the San Francisco show. A bunch of shows upcoming, so we are fully stocked and ready to go. Thank you guys for all who stopped by and said you guys watched our content. Really appreciate it. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see all you guys next video.